In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your MTN 5G router, how to change the password, the login password, and the Wi-Fi key or the hotspot password. First thing you need to do while your 5G router is connected to your desktop, go to your browser. Your browser of choice could be Chrome, it could be Firefox, it could be any other one, and then type in 192.168.0.1 and enter. The login page comes up. You impute the password. The default password is admin in small letters and then you proceed. You have the option to save on your browser or not to. The next page that displays is the quick guide page. Now, if you look at this page, your SSID, which is service set identifier, or the name of the Wi-Fi itself is MTN 5G and all those other things that follow. What this means is that whenever you want to connect to this device, this is the name that will display as the name of the device whether you are connecting on your phone or your desktop. Same thing here. Remember that for the 5G router, the option to connect to 5G is there. And when 5G is not available, the option to connect to the lower network option is also available. So in this case, if you click on this display password section, you see the Wi-Fi key or the password that you use to connect when you want to hotspot to your device. This is where it will be changed. You can wipe this off and then impute your password of choice. It could be numbers, it could be alphabet, it could be combined. Preferably something very long, complicated, relatively and strong. And as you are doing that, you will see that the intensity changes from low to high. In this case, this is a weak password, so that's why you are seeing it as low. You do that here, same thing also applies here. It's one password for both of them, preferably. And then once you have set this up, change the password, then you click on to next. Now, if you want to leave it as so, then that's fine. Remember that this password is also behind the 5G router under the body of the 5G router you will find this password there as well even without coming here so we go to next and then quick guide continues just to describe the different features on this portal go to next and then if you finish reading click on finish and then you click on yes if you want to continue and then the page proceeds and we wait for it to proceed to accept the settings that we have allowed it's applying all the settings and then to lead us to the next page where we can see the full display of the dashboard at the moment it's re-establishing network you can see that the network signal bar has disconnected so once the settings are applied, it will reconnect to establish connection. So you are greeted with this pop-up message to log in again. The settings you picked have been applied and it also gives you the option to save the password. We log in again with admin. Now while that was going on, on the 5G router, the indicator lights changed color in the network section from white to blue and then it returned to white again once the settings were accepted now on this dashboard there are several other things that you can navigate to if you want to change the admin password you navigate to modify login password the current password is admin you could type that in here and then change it to any other password of your choice once you are done you apply the changes we are not doing so for now so let's check other sections connected devices we can see that one device is connected at the moment which is this laptop 
under connected devices at the moment i have one device connected to the router if i click on this section i can see more details this is the device that's connected from here i can block this user from having access and until i come here to unblock this user will no longer be able to connect always remember that whatever settings you create here you apply for it to be affected we move on to settings under settings connection mode is automatic that cannot be changed so that once your wi-fi is turned on it automatically connects network selection is 5g 4g 3g by default so in an area where 5g is unavailable you can connect to the lower network signals 4g or 3g apn is set by default we need not interfere with this area then we'll move on to wi-fi settings here the page we're greeted with when we logged in is the same page here this is where you can also come in to change your password wi-fi LAN key and whatever changes you make always remember to apply so this is for the 5g the lower section the lower network mode this is for 5g you can also sync whatever changes you made up here so that it also applies here now this security mode means that whenever you want to access this router you must use a password now if you do not want to use a password you would click on this and make it open what that means is that once the wi-fi is turned on you automatically connect it will not request for a password and that will make it open and unsecure it's preferable not to do that except you are sure of all those who are within the vicinity of this connection here as well you can clear the name and change it to any other name of your choice that you can easily identify this is under the main ssid which means service set identifier move on to the next section not relevant move on to wps wps is an acronym for wi-fi protected setup what this does is that when this is turned on there is a button for this on the wi-fi when this is turned on that means that anybody within that vicinity can connect to it without the password this is also an unsecure method it's also the same similar to what we did or what we can do here when we make it open here without going through this dashboard or portal on the router there is a wps button that you can press once you do so it automatically removes the future of password and anybody can connect to it without the password perhaps in a case where you forgot the password or in some cases where the password cleans off from the bottom of the router you just don't have access to the password once you turn on the wps button on the router you can connect to it without a password this is what this section can do for you advanced settings just some more features of the wi-fi here the wi-fi coverage is set to long wi-fi coverage this is preferable this is recommended however if you want to limit the access of people you can switch it to short or medium just as a way of protecting your wi-fi connectivity download and upload you see the flow of the speed as it is in use upload and download message section here we can see any messages that we received on this home page if you scroll down you would see other settings and features under suggested position when you click on detect now it will scan through your neighborhood and see where you can get the best signal strength and suggest that you place the router 
in that position data usage with data usage this option is also available on the mobile format when you are accessing this portal on your phone it's currently disabled meaning it can be freely used at any point in time whatever whoever whenever that connects now if i click on enable more options come up what this data usage setting can do is to limit the access to the data based on certain parameters could be based on time maybe you want the connection to be accessible for hours or minutes once that threshold is met the network signal automatically cuts off or if you want the parameter to be based on volume you can set it to any volume you prefer for example once it reaches a usage of 1.63 gig you will be unable to connect as well as any other person connected to the wi-fi this is just to manage your data usage settings so we'll disable it for now so that there will be no limit to access notice also this button here you can turn off the wi-fi connection here and turn it back on if it toggle on and off sms you can receive sms's here and also send sms's here phone book for your contacts on the same advanced settings parameters here are not too functional for daily use ussd here you can check your airtime balance displays you can check your data balance you can also check your number and last option is data bundle if you select this you can buy a subscription for your wi-fi it will take you to another page where you can buy a subscription on this other side is sim card number imei mc and other details and once you are done with this page you can log out this brings you back to the home page thank you for watching